Hi students, today I am going to discuss about uh, mechanism of kidney function. In that, first one is the R A A S, Ross mechanism. Ross mechanism means this mechanism. It's renin. Angiotensin Aldosterone System This is the full form of Ross mechanism which we focus into the how it is regulated Ross mechanism means renin, angiotensin, aldosterone mechanism of the system In this when in our body blood pressure is decreased when our body in our body blood pressure decreases and your extra cellular fluid extra cellular fluid is decreased extra cellular fluid is decreased and moreover the sodium chloride level when it's going to decrease at that time, this mechanism will be activated and it will try to repair the system. Okay, repair these all the things here. BP will be rise and the extra cellular fluid will be increased and NASK level will be increased because of the Ross mechanism. Now, here see, let me explain about how Ross mechanism works. In these three conditions, in our blood, renin will be released. Renin will be released. This renin in the lungs, in the lung itself, angiotensinogen, which is the angiotensinogen. This is the inactivated one, in which is the lung. This is going to convert in presence of renin it change into angiotensin 1 angiotensin 1 it will be happens in the lung in the lung level after changing of angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1 this is going to convert it into angiotensin 2 by the ACE, angiotensin converting enzyme. This enzyme makes the conversion of angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Because of this, this angiotensin 2 will be act on the adrenal cortex region, which is known as the that uh, region they know in the cortex region have three regions there, which are the glomerulosa. Right? In that it will act, it can release the aldosterone, act on the adrenal cortex, then adrenal cortex can secrete the aldosterone, aldosterone. This aldosterone will be, check the sodium level in blood, that is the first problem is solved by the Na plus because of secretion of aldosterone. And next one is this angiotensin will act on the arterioles to constrict the arterioles. When it is a blood pressure decrease, you know, for the second problem, no. Then here, this will act on the blood or the atrial, it going to vaso. Construction takes place, then automatically that problem also will be rectified. And this angiotensin will be act on the ADH anti diuretic hormone, which is known as the vasopressin. Because of this, water will be reabsorbed, reabsorption of water. Correct? These all the things will be set up by the renin when it is released to that blood. This all BP will be raised and address will be constructed.